So this topic, um, an article that we read talked about the female reproductive system and how um, they actually were able to take tissue samples um, from women who've had surgery and donated their um, parts or bits and pieces of their um, organ to uh, this research facility along with um, taking parts from a mouse to repl replicate a female organ. So the reproductive organ. So they were able to do this in a lab and they actually were able to recreate a whole um, menstrual cycle of a woman. So <clears throat> they were able to look at that and um, they talked about uh, replicating the entire or the menstrual cycle and that they can do research on diseases that probe um, women and affect childbirth and reproduction along with, I'm, I'm certain they probably delved into some types of cancer and things like that. Um, and then, so some of the pros and cons that you're kind of looking at with this pros are they're able to redo an entire female cycle so they can see exactly how it reacts to certain things. So if they have um, like endometriosis that they can recreate that then they can put that into their replica and see how the body actually functions in trying to fight it the disease process um, they know exactly how it's going about in the human body and they can find ways to treat it faster or um, look at signs and symptoms of um, earlier stages so they can get um, on top of treatment a lot quicker than they do nowadays with that sort of thing. Um, it also talked about like helping with um, infertility and miscarriages in women. So you can, but see, this is where I have a problem because every single woman's body is different. So even though you create one and you're, you're able to replicate it, how do you know that my body's not going to act differently? to that um, being inhibited by something else. So just because you put, um, you follow a cycle of, of miscarriage on your replica, doesn't mean that my body's gonna do the exact same thing. So I think that's a lot of looking at a con because no human body is exactly identical and every human body is gonna react differently. Like I have systemic lupus, so my body's gonna react a lot differently to things inhibiting it that a normal person who's healthy would um, respond to that um, foreign object or whatever you're looking at or disease or disorder process that you're going through. Every human body is going to react differently. That's why God made us the way he did. Not one single person is exactly like the other. So um, then in the video it kind of, or in the article, it talked about how, uh, you know, like some of the cons, people are going to start having issues with the fact that you can replicate the growth of a human being inside of your fake uterus that you've built. Um, <clears throat> and like, that's just, I mean, Christianity is going to become a, a big issue with this because that's not the way God intended it for it to go about happening. And then you get into a whole lot of other issues. Like if you can stop certain things from happening, then there are more babies being put on this earth. And then you look at population problems and things of that nature. I mean, you're just, you're crossing a line where you may be able to help women who are fighting these issues, but God made them the way that they are for a reason. So, I mean, even though you may be a wonderful woman and things like that, and you may have, going to be the best mother there could have been. But I'm just saying like, there's a reason for these things happening. Um, and I just think that, yes, you may able to be able to help women and <clears throat> along with treatment and things like that. And that is all great. But then when you start getting into building a baby outside the human body and going through that whole process with a fetus on your replica, you're kind of delving into a gray area where people are going to have some issues with that. And there's just always going to be opinions. So I don't really know whether I'm game for this or not. Thanks.